Shalom and greetings from Jerusalem. My name is Joan Lippis, or for you Twitter folk, hashtag Joni in Jerusalem. And I welcome you to Lunchtime Prayer for Israel, which is part of Novea Ministries. And you can subscribe either by going to novea.org and in the upper corner where you see media and you will subscribe to these videos, or you can go to Lunchtime Prayer Dot com and sign up for the text version, which will come into your email every day. Whichever you do, or do both, please pray with us. Now, today we are starting a very unusual series, as you will hear as I proceed, and it's called End Times. The fancy word is eschatology, but simply it's End Times, because yes, there comes a time when everything that we know, the world as we know it, will end. But I'm getting ahead of myself. So today is June 10th, and as I said, our series is End Times. The name of this is Introduction. When Adam and Eve disobeyed God and ate the forbidden fruit in the Garden of Eden, sin entered the world. From that moment onward, mankind found itself in a continual struggle with God. Yet the real battle is between Satan and God, Satan wanting to usurp God's authority, whatever the cost. Now, the Bible records the complete history of this epic battle, starting from its tragic beginning in the Garden of Eden until its glorious conclusion when God restores and makes all things new. Now, it's important to understand that we must see this battle not only from our perspective, but from God's. You see, we don't often consider God's feelings, his sadness when he sees pain and suffering in his children, and as I said, pain, anger, jealousy, and most important, his love for us. If God is patient, God is long-suffering, but there comes a time when, like any good parent, he must take action to rebellion and sin, action that will end this battle for all eternity. You see, he must judge the world, first Israel and then the nations, and he will punish wickedness first in Israel, and then the nations. Now, although the Bible is silent about the exact timing of the end of the battle, it gives us signs of the beginning of the end. Look around us. We see the world going through massive changes as it seems Satan is having more influence. The downward spiral of society is increasing in influence and speed, that which we used to call good is now considered evil, and that which we all used to agree was, ev as was evil is now flaunted as good down the main streets of our communities and all through the media. So God has a red line, and the final battle will begin. In other words, <laughs> we don't know exactly when this will happen, but you know, we do have the length of its time. The prophets tell us that there will be seven years of horrific tribulation, followed by a unique thousand years of relative peace. And then the end. But you know, the, the end is actually a new and glorious, everlasting beginning. Now, this unique series will chronicle from God's perspective these end of days, as revealed through the Hebrew prophets and the apostles. And as I said, as we look through God's eyes, we see the rebellion and rejection of God's laws, God's love, as we hear his cry for people, repent, repent, repent. And then we will look more closely at his plan of judgment 
and finally rejoice as we hear his promises of Israel's restoration and ultimately the new Jerusalem or the new heaven, the new earth. Now here's where this series is different from all our other series because our goal is not merely to pray God's word, but to partner with him by preparing ourselves and others for this most crucial and critical time. How? By committing, committing ourselves, not simply to pray, but the urgency of prayer so that we can really discern these times and how closer we're getting to this judgment of God and accepting the responsibility to proclaim God's word, the very word that we're praying every day. So I hope you're coming along for this journey because I consider this the most important thing I've ever done. And so won't you begin by praying for the Holy Spirit to open up your heart and your mind to hear the word of the Lord for Israel, your nation, and the other nations. Amen.